I hate to break it to you, but your favorite perfume is probably really bad for your health. Welcome to the Non-Toxic Tea, and this week we are focusing on fragrance. Why it's really bad for you and why cutting out of my life was like the best thing I ever did. I'm sure you've probably heard why fragrance isn't that great for you, but today we're getting specific. And in my opinion, the last reason is the worst one. Number one is the denatured alcohol. Perfumes generally contain alcohol and in order for it to not be drinkable, they use additives to denature it. It also allows them to not have to pay alcohol tax when they're buying the alcohol in bulk. But these denaturants that they use aren't that great for you. Diethyl phthalate is the common denaturant and it's linked to irritation, respiratory issues, and its potential endocrine disruptor. Two is perfumes often contain various VOCs. Do you ever get a headache when you spray fragrance? These VOCs become airborne when you spray them, and overexposure to these VOCs can cause headaches, dizziness, respiratory issues, especially in individuals that are sensitive with asthma. And this is also why just spraying it on your clothing instead of spraying it on your skin isn't a great solution. Three is you get fragrance fatigue. Have you ever sprayed your perfume and you can't smell it 20 minutes later? This is because the olfactory receptors in your nose become habituated to continuous or strong fragrance, reducing your sensitivity, which probably means you're spraying a lot more perfume than you should be. And four, which is what I think is the worst, are the endocrine disruptors and the carcinogens that are in fragrances. Fragrances are considered intellectual property and there are over 3,500 chemicals that fit under fragrance on ingredients labels that do not have to be disclosed. And many of these, like phthalates and synthetic musks, are endocrine disruptors. And there's also chemicals like styrene, benzophenone, and certain nitro musks that are potential carcinogens. The fragrance industry is largely self-regulated. The IFRA publishes safety standards, but adherence to these standards is relatively voluntary. So really it's up to you as the consumer to shop smarter. So if you want to learn how to find better for you fragrances, follow along because this week I'll be posting that next.